Hey, Phantom Maniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we are taking a look at Hank from Hasbro's new Dungeons & Dragons cartoon line. Uh, wave 2 just went up for pre-order a few days ago. This is from the first wave, uh, which I've actually been sitting on for a few weeks here. I just haven't had time to get to them all for a full week of reviews. Uh, but we do know that other great reviewers such as Pixel Dan have already... Uh, Suffered some breakage on these, so, uh... Now you might be thinking to yourself, Dave, what are you doing? You haven't even taken it out of the box yet. Well, uh, our pal Pixel Dan broke his as he was pulling it out of the bag inside, so I want to get this thing to at least a little above room temperature before I do anything with it. Uh... I love this packaging. I think the card looks great. It's a retro style design. And yes, people may be uh, upset by the lack of plastic bubble on here or window or whatever you may think uh, it should be. I think this looks cool. I like it uh, hanging on the pegs in the stores, although they didn't quite get the uh, the what, butterfly cut. Isn't that what that's called? They didn't quite get that in the right spot. It needs to be just a little further over this way because they all hang crooked in the stores. That needs to be fixed on the next round. Uh, in the back, you've got the cross cell. You've got the features. Uh, looks cool. Let's open it up and take a look at Hank, the ranger, the ostensible leader of the group. I have been careful, uh, more careful with these than I generally am with retail releases because usually my philosophy is, hey, uh, I should be able to bend this, move this, do whatever, or else it's ultimately a defective product. But since I had forewarning on these that they are breaking right out of the box, yeah, I'm going to be more careful. I'm, I'm not going to intentionally uh, mess up my brand new figures. That being said... I'm being really careful with this guy because he is the one that uh, broke on Pixel Dan. So <laughs> Normally, I would have just pulled the figure right out and not cut this piece. But uh, like I said, if you are forewarned, why not be as careful as you can possibly be? All right. This, I believe this hand was the culprit on his. Uh, I've got this head taped up really nicely. Let's just see see what we can do here as far as carefully removing him from the paper. You know, it's funny. I talk, uh, I've talked a lot about the problems that the plastic trays used in toy packaging for years and years and years have caused. Uh, but apparently pulling this guy out of a paper sack can be problematic. So you never know. Uh, and you know what? He is still not quite warm enough for my liking. Let's hit it again. Ridiculous? Yes. Avoiding a broken figure? Eh. Needs to be done. Does he even have... Oh, okay. So we've got the hand rotating nicely. Everything seems firm and secure. Uh, I'm going to... Move that elbow. Elbow's good. Uh, I've got a single joint with a swivel at the top. Uh, with this line, Hasbro has made the choice to preserve aesthetics in the way that Super 7 does in their lines. So this hand... Okay. So this has an up and down pivot if you can see there as does this which is generally better for an archer but i can see where the sleeve is maybe just a a hair too long to really fully be using that articulation oh man look at that great waist no cut joint here awesome ball jointed waist uh the head is Oh, then, okay, so we've got a ball joint at the base of the neck and at the top where it connects to the head. And let's take a second and look at how great this portrait is. Again, just bringing that 
that two dimensional character design to life here. Uh, look at the the painted studs on his tunic. Look awesome. The belt looks great. They have absolutely captured this character in, in a great great way. Uh, he does have double jointed knees. And that top one, there we go. Looks good. Uh, boot tops have a swivel. Ankles are standard modern uh, ankles. Uh, colors are just bright and perfect. The, I, I will say this. Uh, because I, I do consider, I know people have their issues with them, but I do consider Super 7 to be the, the high water mark of adapting animated properties into action figures. And there are a couple of uh, aesthetic differences, but I think Hasbro nailed this just about as well as Super 7 would have. Uh, and obviously at a much lower price point. Uh, but of course that's because they produce probably... 10 times more of these than Super 7 would have been able to because they're Hasbro. And Dungeons and Dragons at the moment uh, has has the marketing media presence to justify this kind of thing. And I'm glad, you know, even if we only get the two series out of this, uh, I'm, I'm glad we got what we get. <clears throat> okay, so the hands are articulated, posed, to draw a bow. Nicely done. Let's take a look at the accessories. Oh, and you can see, as with the other ones, uh, they've got slits to accommodate the articulation. I am a little surprised at the lack of thigh swivel on these, because Hasbro does not seem afraid of throwing a thigh swivel in the middle of a nice sculpt. Uh, I... I appreciate it, but I'm just so used to it with Hasbro, I was kind of ready for it to be there. All right. So there is Hank's die. Each character in this set comes with a different number of sided, or a die of different side numbers. I don't know, whatever. However you say that. It's been a long time since I've played Dungeons & Dragons, so the terminology escapes me. Uh, oh, let's take a look at the height. So remembering that Venger is just under 9 inches, uh, Hank is coming in at a little bit under 6. Good height for a teenager. Man, he just looks great. Uh, Alright, so he has his bow in kind of standard form. And then he has his bow in charged up, magical energy, ready to fire form, which is a nice translucent plastic, uh, all one color, which I believe it's been a long time since I've watched the cartoon, but I believe accurately represents the sort of energy effect that he got uh, when using his bow. And the, I will say this, the... The articulation, you know what? It works well enough. It works well enough. I could fiddle with that more and get it to look a little bit better, but uh, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know that I'm going to pose him with this as much as I like this piece, and, and I'm a sucker for translucent plastic. Uh, I just don't know that this on the shelf is really the look I'm going to want to go for, but... Pretty awesome. Nice nice job on that. Uh, so there you go. That is Hank the Ranger from the Dungeons & Dragons cartoon. Uh, like I said, however many of these we get, we know the second series is coming. And if that's all we get, I, I will be satisfied. Uh, now granted, I want a HasLab Tiamat. Bring it. Bring it all on. Every creature from the cartoon, whatever they can get made, let's do it. But I'll just be super happy to have Venger, Dungeon Master, and the main kids. So there you go. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share. Come back tomorrow for the last review for now from this series. Uh, and, of course, every week, new toy reviews here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Smash that like button if you like Needless Things.